Today we are talking all things sheet music. So welcome to the acting edit. And action. There are three main ways you can store your sheet music and walk around with it. One of them is the fabulous ring biter, and by personal experience, I would suggest getting a four one because um, four rings is better than just the two. This is very flimsy. But yeah, you pretty much just put two sheets of the sheet music on each of the plastic folders and you have a really cool ring biter. The second one is one of these bad boys. They have um, very different sizes. Some of them have 10, 20, 25, 100 plastic folders, but you pretty much just put your sheet music in there. And also one of these. Well, this is actually a notebook, but what I mean is there are some folders like this, but that have the spiral on the side. And then instead of the sheets, they do have plastic folders and they are really neat for you to put your sheet music on. Just imagine, music, lovely. And I promise all the pink was not supposed to be coordinated. It just happened. I'm not even that big a fan of pink. When you present your music to the pianist or the musical director, you have to make it easier for them to read. So they will have to be able to see perfectly clear what the music is. So whatever cuts you do on your music need to be really well and clearly marked. Now, I'm not a pianist or someone that has studied music, so I always ask someone that actually knows how to do it to cut my music. There are plenty of teachers and pianists that, can, that you can also ask online. I can even give you some um, advice if you want about a couple of them. Another option for you to carry your sheet music is to have it bind it together, cello taped together, and there are, again, a gazillion ways to do this, but I will show you the way that I do it. So let's move these out of the way and bring on some sheet music that needs cello taping. So for this part, you will need, of course, your sheet music and some cello tape, duh. First things first, let's get to the first two sheets of the sheet music. Let's take this to the side and then you will want to flip it round so that the tops of the sheet music are facing you. And you want the first one here and the second one here, exactly as if you were looking at them, but just flipped down. And then you wanna bring them close together, but not overlapping, just literally touching like a hairline in between them Second thing, you get a big piece of sellotape, enough to cover the whole of the sheet, and then you will tape it. There you go. Ta -da. There you go. It's taped together. So now you have two together, and then you have the rest of it. As you can see, it's still in order. So don't forget the tops face you and the same thing with the new one the top will face you again tops facing you let's just bring them close together get a big tape and cello tape it together Now to make it easier, because you don't want it rolling off, you will just fold this first one and then the second one. So it's like going like this. There you go. That way you will be able to see what the music is when it's all folded, but then it will be easy to pull around. Now you will bring the next one in, again bringing them all to face you. When you're done, you can fold it all back, press the sides so that the tape knows what it's doing, and from now on, your sheet music is taped together. 
it was easier for the pianist to see it like this. It's easier for you to carry it around as well, but it's pretty much a personal choice to keep it in the binders or to have it like this. If it is a drama school audition and you're not sure how you want them, I would advise to have two copies, one taped together and the other one in the binders. And that's it for today. Quick video just to show you how to do your sheet music folding and taping. Hope you liked it. Thumbs up if you did and subscribe the channel. Don't forget. See you next time.